Good morning, everybody. This is Friday morning. Wow. Wow. This is Friday moment of destiny with Pastor Adi Botomi. We're coming your way this morning, blessing you and strengthening you in the place of prayer. Um, we want to start the day by giving thanks to God. You know, one of the best way to start your day is to give thanks to God. That's why it's a common saying everywhere. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And let's appreciate the Lord for that. Let's bless him. So wherever you are, join me to bless the Lord right now. Appreciate him. Father, we thank you for your mercy over us. Throughout this week, you have been a good, good father. We give you thanks for your many works in our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We've been talking about the supernatural. We have been telling us about how to release the supernatural, how to operate in that realm. And I said, been saying to us that one of the ways by which you can actually uh, release supernatural is through sound production. The Bible says that um, in John 3, 8, it said, The wind blow away in least, thou hear the sound thereof, but cannot tell where it's going or where it's coming from. So, is everyone born of the Spirit. And I said that, only sound, only uh, sign, sound producers become sign producers. I've said that to Ross and I told us yesterday on the power of words. Now, on the power of the spoken word, the power of the sound you make, how that opened the door to the supernatural. Now, just tell us today on the result of the sound you make. The sound you produce in line with God's word has two major effects. I just talk about this. Number one, it 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 it, it forces the opposition against your destiny to bow. What actually happens is when you keep saying what you believe, despite what is happening, is that the negative situation gets tired of hearing you speaking against it and therefore leaves. And that is when you begin to sound against sickness and disease. When you begin to speak against the agenda of the wicked in your life, you begin to see them bowing. How what do I mean by that? Psalm 18, 44 to 45. Psalm 18, 44 to 45 said, As soon as the year of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Every situation and occurrence in your life that is contrary to God's word is a stranger. As you keep producing sound of God's will for your life, they will bow and disappear. And that is why I prophesy to somebody listening to me right now that that stranger, that strange force, that strange spirit, that strange thing you are facing right now, as you open your mouth to speak against it, it will bow and disappear in Jesus' name. So wherever you are right now, any contrary situation that you are facing right now, I see them bow as you speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are right now, I want you to begin to speak against every strange experience behind every strange experience there is a strange spirit behind every strange happenings around you there is a strange spirit behind it so wherever you are right now begin to speak against those spirits operating from those hideouts every strange spirit operating from every from different out. Ah, we begin to speak right now. They must bow. Open your mouth and windows right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, begin to speak with the authority of the name of Jesus that every stranger that is behind every strange happenings in my life and the life of my children, I command you foul spirit to bow now. Come out of your close places. 
you strangers. I say, come out of your close places. Every close place from where you are operating from, come out in Jesus' name. I say, come out. Every strange pain, every strange dream, every strange occurrences around you, every spirit behind them, we bind those spirits. We command them to go. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and speak. Until they hear you, they will not come out. Open your mouth and speak. Speak against that strange experiences. It is your voice they are waiting for. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for victory by the blood and by the word of his testimony. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And if you are there, if you are going to experience, to be able to use kind of authority, you need to be able to... Uh, Give your life to Christ first. That's where your authority starts from. Say this word after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. I repent of any wrongdoing and my sinful life and habit. I pray that you will come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Purge my heart with your blood. Save my soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if you have prayed that prayer, you are born again. Now hear me, that is the root of the supernatural. The root of the supernatural is in your new birth. Now today, uh, join me for a live broke, uh, uh, our service prayer meeting. Today is our prayer meeting day. Join us today by 7 p.m. Uh, for the prayer meeting on Zoom and Facebook live by 8 p.m. Uh, UK time. The 7, 7, 7 uh, p.m. Uh, is 2 p.m. U.S. time on New York and, and 3 p.m. is uh, is the 8 p.m. for U.K. Join me for this supernatural time, how to command the supernatural with communion service. Join me for this and your love not remain the same and get ready as we meet in church on Sunday for Father's Day if you are within London. God bless you. I look forward to hearing your testimony. Bye-bye for now.